Let's recap. What's the picture that comes to mind for so far? The hot springs. The hot springs. And then the bread, right? You remember the tarantula? So far, so far of mine. What's next that we covered? Huh? Then we go penicillin after sulfonamides. mines. Right, okay. And then we got cephalosporins. We got five more groups to go. Okay. There's a total, there's more than this, but the most common ones, there's eight groups of antibiotics. Okay. So you want to start counting. Okay. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. This one is more macrolides, but later on we added lincosamides, okay? Macrolides. It's how they work. They block bacterial ability to produce proteins that they need for survival. Okay? So, bactericidal, bacteriostatic. Static. They didn't actually kill the bacteria. Kind of disable it. Right? But different things. But you know, as pharmacy technicians or healthcare workers, you don't want to do neither to your patient. Why if you make somebody comatose? It's not a good thing. If you make somebody disabled because of wrong drug given, wrong calculation, that's a lifetime trauma. Same as you kill somebody. It's just the same, right? I always say I'd rather be dead and comatose. I don't want, because I don't want to be a burden to anybody. Mm -hmm. Same story as my grandma when she was going through um, breast cancer and then it metastasized to the bone. And we had to feed her because she's so active like me. So the moment we started feeding her because she's shaking, she's crying. Not because, not much for pain, but more, I think, on... I'm now a burden to them. Okay, remember we talked about cancer? It's more of that. It's so frustrating for her. And that's why they tend to be angry, not only because of pain, especially for people who are so active. You won't see my grandma sitting, like she's always doing something. Cleaning, decluttering. So going back, macrolide, side effects, stomach upset, common to almost all antibiotics, okay? Nausea, vomiting, heartburn, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. 